Hey everyone, today I'm going to go over five alternative coping methods for stress that are not food or alcohol. So number one is movement. Um, building movement into your routine every single day can just help you maintain a clear-headed mindset and have space to breathe and be present. So uh, even better if you can get outside, but here are some ideas. Um, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, parking further away. Of course, everyone has heard that one. Um, joining a gym, joining a pickleball team or an ultimate frisbee league. Uh, you could even join a walking group or meet up with one of your friends or neighbors to walk the dog each day. Um, I like to do my fitness with, and my movement with a community, but any movement will do. Um, another simple one is just doing air squats while your coffee is brewing. All right, so number two is to schedule rest in your routine. A lot of us are really great with coping and being clear-headed until we're tired. So making sure to schedule rest into your day, whether that's just five minutes to breathe or listen to your favorite song, or maybe you listen to a funny podcast while you're driving, just having some sort of rest or even play, like getting outside and laughing with your friends um, scheduled into your routine every single day. Three is to surround yourself with positive people and community. Some people, that means going to church or joining a new church that they really love. Um, others, that means joining a sports team or going to a group fitness class. It could be um, finding a, a work group or a group at work that does extracurriculars together. Just having really positive people in your life. Um, and the next one goes along with this, but letting go of people, thought patterns and beliefs that no longer serve you. So number four is just avoiding really toxic conversations, um, like watching the news or gossiping about others, just really trying to keep positivity in your life by surrounding yourself with high quality people and things that are positive and remind you to stay positive. Number five is either journaling or going to talk to a counselor. So getting your thoughts out of your head and having someone else listen to them or seeing them on paper, both of those can be really helpful for you to identify what your thought patterns are, whether they're good or bad or helpful or unhelpful, but just getting to know your thought patterns and having a larger sense of self-awareness. And that way you can kind of see what's What's triggering your stress response and what do you usually do to meet that need? Um, so from there, when you have awareness, you can decide if you want to move forward differently or keep doing the same thing over and over. But either way, the choice is up to you and you have the power. So that was a short list of five alternative ways to cope with stress that are not food or alcohol. Comment below um, which one of these you could put into practice right now today.